Why being a moody bitch is not a bad thing. Women, does this sound familiar? We blame ourselves for how bad we're always feeling, but has it ever occurred to you that these feelings are actually perfectly normal? Women's sensitivities come and go over a 28-day cycle, and that is a sign of health, not disease. But the pharmaceutical industry is increasingly exploiting our fears of being too emotional, implying that something is a bit off. More women than ever before are taking psychiatric medications. In the US, antidepressants are overwhelmingly marketed to women, stigmatizing depression as a feminine illness. And in turn, this also makes men less likely to seek treatment when they need it. Let me give you an example. The number of Americans on antidepressants skyrocketed after 9-11. The mainly female patients I saw in my office that September were acutely anxious, fearful for the safety of their loved ones. Coincidentally, the makers of Paxil, paroxetine, came out with this ad. I'm always thinking something terrible is going to happen. I can't handle it. Glaxo doubled its advertising budget to $16 million the next month. Again, specifically targeting women, and it paid off. They got women taking their drugs, and they ended up staying on them. Women are particularly vulnerable to overprescribing. Medical chart reviews consistently show that doctors are more likely to give women psychiatric medication than men. So why are our moods so up and down? So when our estrogen levels drop, such as when we have our periods or around menopause or after childbirth, our moods are pretty likely to drop too. But women don't need a daily dose of antidepressants in order to mask these moods. The most common antidepressants are SSRIs. These are medicines that block the brain's natural recycling of serotonin. And if your serotonin levels are constantly, artificially high, you're at risk of losing the emotional sensitivity that makes you, you. Men are told to be more aggressive in the workplace, but it's not the same for women. What's interesting is that SSRIs reduce aggression and poor impulse control and irritability while increasing cooperative and affiliative behaviors. Women are being medicated into being more submissive employees. We feel more deeply, express our emotions more frequently, and we get the monthly blues. And it's normal, it's natural. Let's not let drug companies try and dope us into docility. Being a moody bitch is a strength, not a weakness. Women, hang up your pantsuits. In 2014, we won! <laughs> For the first time ever, 100 women were elected to US Congress. Emma Watson called the UN to arms in the fight for equality. Mlali Yousafzai backed the Nobel Peace Prize. Sure, 